here with you guys. I miss seeing you guys. So I was really looking forward to being here today. So um, we're going to begin with our small short reflection. And I want to tell you that as I was preparing, I promise. I try to keep it short. <laughs> I mean, and it, it is, but I can't promise you that the Holy Spirit won't say. <laughs> but the, they told me the food is still got a while. So, so we have more than enough time. <laughs> so if we could bow our heads, we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for this beautiful day that you blessed us with. I thank you for this opportunity of fellowship. And I pray, Lord, now as you give us spiritual food, that you open up their hearts and their minds to receive what you have for them. As then after we'll continue to fellowship and love together. I ask, Lord, that you use me. Lord, that I simply be a vessel. That I decrease so that you may increase. That here, Lord Jesus, your Holy Spirit speak. I ask you all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, I gave my reflection a title and it's a question for you all to ask yourself you don't have to answer it and the question is are we settling for surviving okay are we settling for surviving or thriving and living fully estamos viviendo solamente para sobrevivir o estamos viviendo plenamente para thriving and living fully para vivir plenamente. So this year's theme is living fully. El tema de este año es vivir plenamente. And I'm sure that you guys on Friday nights have been hearing a lot about our theme of living fully. Y estoy segura que los viernes en la noche han estado escuchando eso mucho de vivir plenamente. But I'm sorry I have not been there. Pero perdóneme no he estado ahí. Because I've been down with the youth. So sometimes when we do like repeat, a veces cuando repetimos, it's because God has a reason that we need to hear that word again in our lives. So the theme verse of the year is Ephesians 3:17. The verse is Ephesians 3:17. But I added 18 too because I really felt like. Pero le añadí el 18 también. And it says, I'll read 17 and 18, and then you can read. So it says. Um, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, <coughs> may have power together <coughs> with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Para que habite Cristo por la fe en vuestros corazones, a fin de que, arriagados y cimentados en amor, seáis plenamente capaces de comprender con todos los santos, cual sea la anchura, la longitud, la profundidad y la altura. So, as I was preparing this reflection, and I was thinking about how can we live fully, this particular flower was sitting in front of me. And every time I kept planning and thinking, Lord, how can I, what can I speak about? And, and, and what does it mean to live fully? I kept looking at this plant each and every day. And it was beautiful at one point. And every day as I looked at it, some of it started 
started shriveling up. Parte de ella se secaba. The water started to decrease. El agua era menos. It was getting darker and cloudy. El, el agua se ponía cambiaba de color. But then there's still some beautiful flowers that are trying to like survive over here. Pero todavía hay unas flores que tratan de de sobrevivir. So I said, Lord, is there a reason you keep bringing my eye to this plant here? Yo digo, Señor, ¿cuál es la, la razón? ¿Habrá alguna, la, la, alguna razón por la que me hace mirar la planta todos los días? So I said, how can we live fully? Y me pregunto, ¿cómo podemos vivir plenamente? And the Lord brought me to John 14, 6. Y el Señor me trajo a Juan 14, 6. Where Jesus told us, Cuando Jesús nos dijo, I am the way, Yo soy el camino, and the truth, la verdad, and the light. No one comes to the Father except Amen. And it was just a reminder that there, He's the light. He is the one that supplies it all. He's our sun. He's our water. He is the one that strengthens our roots. If we look at this flower, si esta, esta flor, the, this flower has no longer any roots. La flor no tiene it's just simply trying to survive with the little bit of water that it has in this vase. Solo de con el poco de agua que tiene. This flower will no longer live. Esta flor <coughs> no it will slowly die. Morirá it will slowly go to my garbage. Lentamente irá a mi but yet if we live life fully Pero si vivimos plenamente, and we plant our roots y, 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 y plantamos nuestras raíces, and we're founded in Him, estamos fundado en él, God gives us the benefits Dios nos da los beneficios of the sun, o del sol, of the water, del agua, of the soil. De, de la tierra. He gives us peace. Nos da paz. He gives us joy. Nos da gozo. With Him comes that connection, right? We get the gifts of the Holy Spirit, right? When we begin to unravel and spread those roots, then we can enjoy those benefits that He has for us, right? And today I ask you to examine yourselves. As I told you in the first opening question, are we surviving? Or are we thriving? And we can look at our motives. Why do we do the things we do? Why do we do the different ministries that we do? Think about that. Are we doing it for God? Or do we do it for man? Mm. The actions that we do. Why? Think about why do you say the things you say? It's those simple little things Son esas cosas simples that begin to affect, que right? A afectar. There's no roots. No hay raíces. Slowly, some of the flowers are dying. Lentamente, algunas de esas flores se mueren. When we're not rooted, cuando no estamos, no tenemos raíces, we begin to die off. Empezamos a morir. If we're doing it with the wrong motives, si lo hacemos con los motivos erróneos, we have hurtful actions. Hacemos cosas que le duelen a los hurtful words but the beautiful thing is that when we're rooted in him we begin to flourish like a beautiful tree pretend this is a tree okay it is a tree so how do we keep ourselves alive how do we fully live in Him. ¿Cómo podemos mantenernos vivas? ¿Cómo podemos vivir plenamente en Él? That's okay, that was our short time out. <laughs> now, maybe we're like this flower. Quizás seamos como esa flor. Right? It has some water. They come to church on Sunday. Vienen a la iglesia los dos. 
right? They get some some church. How many people? How many people have run into? I gotta get some church, right? I've run into people that 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 tell me, oh, you know, I go to church on Sunday, so I could just feel good for that moment. When we begin to have our roots, it's because we have that relationship, right? The roots begin to grow. I'm not, a real, I'm not like a planter or anything. <laughs> but you know, I teach plants to second graders. <laughs> and we understand when something is watered, when the sun is hitting, it's the nutrients, right? <laughs> And the roots begin to root in. Right? They get solid in there. Have you ever tried to pull out something that the roots are like really dug in? I have because we just moved into a house and we can't get the mm -hmm. <laughs> But like this flower, there's no real Pero como esta flor, no hay relación, there isn't an overflow of his fresh water. No hay una abundancia de su, de, el agua fresca. And when we think about the water, right, in the word of God, it's about his spirit, right? En el agua, en la de Dios, mm -hmm. es but this poor flower just has this stagnant water. But we must overcome. Pero tenemos, tenemos que vencer. I want you to think about this flower as a flower that's going through something difficult. How many of us have gone through something difficult? Uh -huh. I'm sure we can all raise our hands, right? Uh -huh. We all go through our trials sometimes. We all go through our tribulations. We can all say that at some point the enemy has come up against us, right? <clears throat> can we all say that we have our wounds and our scars that we've dealt with? But we can overcome Amen. with the water, with the sun, those roots can begin to found themselves deeper and deeper. Because Jesus is our while the wind 
and the storm is over here. Mientras el, el la tormenta está a este lado. The tree cannot avoid the storms. La, el, el árbol no puede evitar la tormenta. So the trees have to put up with the injuries. La, el, so el, el árbol tiene que tener esos golpes. And the assaults. Y, y, y todo eso que le sucede en el but the beautiful thing about a tree Pero lo bonito de un árbol is that it has its injuries and its scars. Que tiene sus golpes y sus cicatrices. Oh, I don't know. It's not going to die. 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 And it deals with those scars. Y lidia con esas cicatrices. But the beautiful thing is Pero lo bonito es that when a tree is healthy and has its roots founded, that tree heals itself. Se, se, se sana ella misma. And it begins to surround the scar. Y comienza a, 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 a cerrar esa cicatriz. And it begins to, to grow. Y empieza a crecer. And close in around that scar. Y a cerrar esa cicatriz. And it grows higher. And it grows outward. Y, y crece para, para and it grows even more beautiful. Y crece más and the thing I read about Lo que leí. is that a tree can heal and do all of that itself. Y que el árbol puede ella misma. It doesn't need us to go and put some ointment on it. No que le algo. They say that actually hurts the trees, just so you know. Eso, eso le hace más daño. All those things that you buy in the store and they say put it on there to heal the tree. Todas esas cosas que compras en la tienda que te dice que lo ponga, eso le hace mal al árbol. With Jesus, con Jesús, with just the water and the sun, solamente con el agua y el sol, and our roots founded in Him, y nuestra raíz fundada en él, we can make it through those storms. Podemos sobrellevar esa tormenta. The beautiful thing about that tree Lo bonito del árbol is that those scars and those wounds are still there. Es que esas cicatrices todavía están ahí. It becomes a part of the tree. Es son parte del árbol. It makes the tree that individual that tree that it is. Hace el árbol el árbol que es. Just like each and every one of us Como cada uno de nosotros. that may go through those different things in our life. Que pasamos por esas cosas en nuestra vida. Those wounds, esas cicatrices, those scars esas cosas que make each and every one of us who we are. Los hace it makes it possible Lo hace that as we go through those processes in our life, que el en vida, we're able to edify another a with otros. those different things that we go through. Cosas que hemos it makes us stronger nos hace más and it makes us more beautiful. Nos hace más so what will we choose? Will we choose to live fully vivir with our roots? Con raíces, or are we going to choose to live like this poor flower? O vamos a vivir como esta flor. I'm going to tell you it was really beautiful when I bought it. Era muy bella la I, I had such pride in this flower. Estaba tan orgullosa de la flor. And I bet you that when I leave here I'm going to take it home. I'm going to keep it until they're all dead. <laughs> But the word of God gives us a challenge. Pero la palabra de Dios gives us a challenge. Nos, nos reta. And how are we going to respond to that challenge? ¿Y cómo vamos a responder a ese reto? In Deuteronomy 30, in Deuteronomy 30, 19 through 20. Yes, in and I'm almost done. Okay? So y'all be brief. Deuteronomy 30, 19 through 20. And I'm going to read it and then she'll read it in Spanish. It says, This day. I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live and that you may love the Lord your God. Listen to his voice and hold fast to him for the Lord is your life and he will give you many years in the land. He swore to give to your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. A los cielos y a la tierra llamó por testigos hoy contra vosotros, que os he puesto delante la vida y la muerte, la bendición y la maldición. Escoge pues la vida para que vivas tú y tu descendencia, amando a Jehová tu Dios, atendiendo a su voz y siguiéndole a él. 
porque Él es vida para ti y prolongación de tus días, a fin de que habites sobre la tierra que juró Jehová a tus padres, Abraham, Isaac y Jacob, que les había de dar. We have a choice. Do we want life or do we want death? Tenemos una decisión. Queremos vida o muerte. And living life fully, y viviendo plenamente, yes, brings us joy, nos trae gozo, brings us peace, nos trae paz, gives us hope, nos da esperanza. But then with that hope and that joy and that peace, pero con esa esperanza y esa paz, we are that walking testimony. Somos, somos testimonio ambulante. With our wounds and our scars, con nuestras cicatrices, we can uplift another. Podemos edificar a otro. I'm gonna tell you the other day. Le, pues quiero decir que el otro día, um, I'm working summer school. Estoy trabajando en la escuela de verano. And and okay, so I'm gonna just tell you story. So I I come in in the morning and I greet all the kids. Entro en la mañana y saludo a todos los niños. And they go to breakfast, and I usually go in and I and I talk to the teachers and the kids. Y ellos van a desayunar y entro y hablo con los estudiantes y con los maestros. And there was this young girl that comes up to me, one of the student teachers. Y es una joven que que viene a donde mí, la la una de las ayudantes. And she's like, your smile, you're always smiling. Me dice tu sonrisa siempre está sonriendo. And she's like. Every time, can you just come and see me every day because I want to see your smile? She's like, it makes me so happy to see you. Me da felicidad verte. And it was so beautiful because I really had a bad day. <laughs> or, actually, it was just morning, so I really had a bad uh, hour. <laughs> and her words in encouraged me so much because it reminded me when you think you're not being watched when you think you're not being that example you're always being watched and being watched sounds kind of like negative but I'm saying that God is using El Señor te está usando. He's strategically placed you. Él tiene una estrategia. Whether it be at your job, en tu trabajo, or it just be in the mall, in the supermarket, en la tienda, the people that he brings around, la you, persona que con el, con el cual te rodea, there's a reason. Hay una razón. Are you showing them that you're living fully? Le estás enseñando que estás viviendo plenamente. Or are you simply surviving? O solamente estás sobreviviendo. We have a mission. Tenemos una misión. And yes, it's the great commission that God has given us. Si es la gran comisión que el Señor nos But da. in Luke 4, 18, it says, Pero en Lucas 4, 18 dice, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. El Espíritu de Dios está sobre mí. The water, el agua, the sun, el sol, the nutrients that it gives los us, que da. the boldness that it gives us. Uh, because he has anointed me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Not poor simply money-wise, poor spiritually. To preach the, or he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives, a a los and recovery of sight to the blind, y vista a los to set at liberty those who are oppressed. A poner en a los, a los we have a mission. Una and if we are in this state, y si en este estado, we cannot fulfill what God has no called us. Hacer lo que Dios nos ha a hacer. He calls us to live fully in Him, and nos llama a vivir plenamente to build that relationship. Para tener esa relación, to seek his nourishment para buscar de su nutrición, of his word de su palabra, in prayer in oración. so today so hoy, I ask you te pregunto, do we want to be like the flower ser como la flor, that will only live temporarily que solo and will shrivel y morirá? or do we want to live full o vivir plenamente, rooted in Jesus Christ con raíces en Jesús, and his love where there is power.
So I truly hope so that I've been of encouragement. Que sido de, 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 other than other than when I went that cringe when I broke yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope that you go home. And you continue to ask God to reveal more and more to you. Whether are we in stagnant water? Or are we truly living fully in Him? And ready and equipped to go out and reach the brokenhearted and to um, free the captive. Oramos. Padre, te damos gracias en esta tarde, Dios mío, una vez más, eh, por estar todas reunidas aquí, eh, como dice tu palabra, que aquí envías tu bendición y vida eterna. Eh, gracias por, por todos los hermanos que han cooperado con esta actividad, por los hermanos que están ahí delante de, del grill. Y te damos las gracias por todos estos alimentos que vamos a consumir. Te pedimos que tú los bendigas, que bendigas las manos que los elaboraron, que los hicieron. Y Señor, que bendigas también este alimento cuando sea consumido. En el nombre poderoso de Jesús te lo pedimos. Amén. Amén. Aleluya. Thank you, Sister Damari, por esta palabra bella que